So, hello there. Uh, this is technically the second video I will have up. So, a video got me thinking, um, and I kind of wanted to talk about how crazy the Ruby community has seemed to be recently. Like, I'm um, like in regards to specific things. Um, by tomorrow, chapter 11 will be up to the public. But until then, I do say spoiler, even though I think ultimately this won't be released till then. But I want to shipping. Shipping is something that I tend to stay away from conversation wise. Like I can ship, I ship people, but I tend not to go and spew my thoughts and opinions unless like we're in a situation where, you know, we're all, like, kind of wanting to share that, like, wanting to express what we're feeling, express who we like, and, like, you know, just having a civil conversation. Now, Volume 6 has been a big, big time for Bumblebee shippers in the regards to uh, all the interaction Blake and Yang have been having. Now, here's something I want to state really quick. <clears throat> I'm 100- I'm 100% okay with Bumblebee. Well, some would probably say I ship it. <laughs> but, but, um, I do understand where some people are getting- meh. Okay, once again, sorry, I need to really wear my thoughts better, but some people have been going a little bit <laughs> crazy here, and, like, towards the end of uh, chapter 11, some people are screaming it's canon. It's not canon yet. We need to chill. Even if there's some signs, and even if we're, like, seeing here praying, hoping, and all that, we haven't been, it hasn't been confirmed yet. So we don't know for sure. So we shouldn't start celebrating. But for the people who are kind of angry that there's been so much Blake and Yang interaction, here's, here's something to calm down about here. Those who ship Bumblebee and want, want to just voice their opinion, we... You know, everyone's free to, uh, do that. Everyone's thoughts and opinions are own. It, it's the side where I can understand where those of you who may not be a fan of it, or those of you who aren't paying as, like, don't really care much about that aspect, but, like, the show, I can understand where some of your anger towards some Bumblebee shippers is, because some of us are going a little bit <laughs> crazy, but... You know, when something like this seems to be happening, I can understand why everyone's excited. Don't get me wrong. Um, but it started a while back even. I think, um, Chapter 5. Probably even a little bit before, but Chapter 5. When, um, Blake is trying to, like, comfort Yang when she admits to having, like, still seeing images, flashes of that night. So Adam, um, Blake comes in and try holds her hand. Um, at the bottom of a YouTube video, like, someone's, I forget which video it was, but someone was like, they need to stomp it with the bumblebee, there's too much bumblebee, and that's kind of a bit of a crazy streak, mainly because it doesn't ha like, just because they're together a lot does not it doesn't necessarily mean, oh, they're gonna be together, because we need to still remember this. At the core of this problem, uh, the core of this situation, they're partners. They are the ones who were supposed to stay together for four years. Yes, they're part of Team Ruby to stay together, but you you get the point. Those two are the primary uh, people. Like they're they're their they're partners, just like Weiss and Ruby. So even if uh, if you don't really ship it, and like maybe you just maybe you don't see anything, or you know, whatever the situation may be, like just remember they're partners. They need to interact anyways. Not everything is impl <laughs> saying that they are going to be together. And yes, some scenes, I'm not going to deny it, really look like they are. I'm, once again, not going to deny anything. But I'm trying to stay on neutral grounds here. Until they confirm it, confirm it, I'll just love every scene between the two. And just remember, they're partners. <laughs> the Ruby community, when it comes to some ships is scary. Bumblebee is one of them because, okay, surrounding Blake. 
A ship surrounding Blake is normally crazy, scary, and don't want to get too involved in. Because, whew, I've seen discussions between some Black Sun shippers and some Bumblebee shippers, and they've never been pleasant. <laughs> some have, some have. Okay, I'm going to revoke that little statement there. Some have been pretty pleasant, like, you know, they've been pretty civil. But a lot of the times, it's just, it, it goes downhill quick. Which is kind of why I'm like, I'm staying neutral. I, I'm just here to be like, you know, like, I, I looked at the comments for all these episodes and I'm just seeing everyone either talking about Bumblebee. Oh, uh, someone, I kind of hope Adam will just kill Yang so Bumblebee can't happen. It's a crazy mess. Uh, and it's, it's, it's scary a little bit. Because there's a lot of stuff, well, not, oh, not a lot, like, it's just the fight development. There was a lot of development, as in, like, what could be happening next in Chapter 11, but a lot of the comments is really talking about shipping. I, like, I, I do ship Bumblebee. I'm okay with it. Renora, obviously, okay. And Arcos. But that's not why I watch Ruby. I got into Ruby for characters and story. I will gladly say I, I ship people. I, 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 w I will. And whenever, whenever I see moments on screen, screen I'm like, all. But I, I love also like focusing on the, like what's going on. What's, who's where? Like, you know, I'm not just going to be like, oh my god, they're together. Or, oh my god, why are they doing this? Why are, ooh, just keep those two away, you know? Um, I'm not the biggest fan of Black Sun. I, in retrospect, can see why people ship it. Once again, neutral, but I'm just not on that side. But it's, it's like the same thing. When Bumblebee shippers watched Volume 4 and some of 5 in particular, they probably weren't that happy about it. Not all of us. I've seen plenty of Bumblebee shippers perfectly fine with uh, Sun and Blake interacting. But, you know, it, it's the same here. It's like, back then it was the Bumblebee shippers kind of being, having their little er moments, and now it's kind of like Black Sun or just, I don't know. I, don't, I really don't understand why a ship determines whether you're going to enjoy something. Like, those fights, they were awesome. And like in some comments, oh, I, I, one in particular, someone's like, stop it with all the Bumblebee, it's ruining all these good moments. And it's like, they shouldn't be. The fight scenes, the fight against Adam and Blake, those were cool. The fight between Adam and Yang, that was cool. Just cause we have, you know, them interact and like, Blake once again reports her. It does not take away from the moment. <laughs> just, just, just saying, just trying to put that out there. It, it's a, it's a weird situation to be in, because I don't normally go through that. I don't normally have to see it. I'm more of, I watch fairy tale. I watch all these other things, and I normally don't have a comment section to go to. I, I just don't go there. But with Ruby, it I, I go I wanted to I started going through this trend of looking through the comments because I like hearing people's thoughts and like the theory really started to notice how scary the realm of Ruby's fandom could be. And recently, if you're gonna take a message from this video at all, if you're even gonna watch this video, I just wanna state this. A, a reactor I've watched recently like put out a little post stating that people say uh, the obsession they have over certain characters is ruining the reactions and they should react differently. People react the way they are. Whatever their reaction is, unless they've seen it and are trying to fake it, they react for to see their genuine response. If someone is like it like like pair or like certain characters and like they they obviously show it that is their genuine reaction i i can understand maybe if you don't like it but you 
it, it's not within the realm of saying you ruin your reaction because of it. Emerald's reaction is their own. Um, I'm going to stay on the neutral ground and really just say if you don't like the way someone reacts, maybe not watch them. Um, it's cool to give input, but when you're pretty much telling them to change who they are when it comes to watching Ruby, say it, but you probably shouldn't and you're better off just not saying it. And this is one where it's kind of a, if he's, like, this is just, people do put out, this, this goes for people on YouTube and just, if you're not careful on social media, I don't have social medias really other than YouTube. So, it, it's, the only time I ever got spoiled before I became a first member was YouTube when I wasn't even looking for Ruby, when I was looking for fairy tale or other things, people would have a picture of stuff from the episode in their thumbnail and it, it would just immediately go, oh no. I had to constantly put not interested on um, whenever it tried to give me a sneak peek of the next episode because I didn't want that. My reactions to Ruby. And even if I didn't, because it's cool experiencing it like that all the time. Uh, I got to watch volume one to four completely blind. Five, I didn't, it wasn't completely, but I did. And I know it derailed, but it, it just comes from this situation of we all like certain things. We, we and that's fine. And I know it's never going to be possible for us to be completely civil. It's just over the course of volume 6, I've just seen some how scary some of it has gotten. And uh huh. that is why it's, it's going to be interesting. Um, someone I was just watching mentioned how it's going to be scary if uh, Bumblebee gets confirmed because of uh, all the backlash that could bring. And then I was also thinking, like from, from that, uh, that person's point of view, I was also like, well, I can also imagine if it doesn't get confirmed, how the others will backlash, like how much backlash there will be there. And it's just a scary situation where I'm like, I'm enjoying what's going on, but I'm see or hear. <laughs> like, it's, it's just this fun mess. It's a fun mess. Ruby isn't all about relationships. If you joined Ruby just for relationships, okay. I don't know. Once again, I wasn't in that situation. I kind of got into it for the characters, then I really started following the story, and I was... I can understand that some people are just watching it for relationships, but I don't like how sometimes it feels like our our comments, like let's say we voice our dislike for something, and it seems like they do like in a way accommodate us. Like it's cool that they do try to go with what we sound like we want, but my issue is the moment we kind of, they give us pretty much what some people pretty much say they want. They immediately scream damage control. And it's like, no matter what, it's going to be damage control. Or maybe it was planned from the beginning, but we don't know. Um, so it's going to be interesting to see how shipping goes, how situation goes, and what people will have to say about the developments. Huh. Hello. Hi, Luna. Hi. <laughs> She's coming for the dog. You has food. Oh, and food. Hey, Caitlin, what do you have to say about the uh, crazy, um, well, shipping in uh, Ruby right now? It's insane. <laughs> like, you you read the comments, right? I'm not the only one, right? I don't ship many people. <laughs> oh, yeah, no, no. She, she didn't even really sh think about Bumblebee until I started talking to her about it. I never shipped anyone with Ruby, really. I, I didn't either until, like, recently, so... It's this scary world. Like, seriously, people are like, can can Blake or Yang die so Bumblebee can't be a thing? That's depressing. It, it's depressing. It's like, I would gladly go and kill off one of the main four. Uh, I was gonna say, if it happens, it happens. If it doesn't, I'm okay with that too. Yeah, if they get together, it's not like Ruby's gonna suddenly change. The world's not gonna end. If they don't get together, we'll be sad, but you know, Ruby's not gonna change. Mm -hmm. it, it's... It's just this process that scares the heck out of me. Because 
Kayla, can you imagine if they don't make Bumblebee canon after so you read the people are gonna die? People are gonna scream. But imagine if they do. Also hurry up before you eat all the food. <laughs> wow, my food's gonna be eaten. Well, Kayla, I wanna say bye. I'm looking at Luna through the bye. other camera. Yeah. There you go. Also, Kaylin. Yes. This is my second channel. Nice to meet it. Oh, hello. <laughs> She's now in it. Yeah. I thought I would keep you. You just keep coming well, back. Well, I'm here. <laughs> um. <laughs> kinda. But yeah, see you guys. I have to go get food, defend it. Um. If you're gonna talk about ship things, please do it civilly. Don't threaten. Don't. Don't uh, threaten yourselves. Don't call people like I've. People called others homophobes when they didn't agree with Bumblebee. Like. Let's just calm down. Let's just call each other people. <laughs> you know, let's just be civilized or, you know, just discuss our thoughts, you know, like. If someone gets offended, say sorry and say you didn't mean to because I don't think you meant to. Yeah, that's just anger. Yeah, the stuff just happens. It's a little crazy. I'm gonna go check on our food. <laughs> yeah, make sure it's safe. But anyways, gotta see you guys. I didn't think I'd talk this long. What's new? <laughs> see you guys. Bye.